Silkypix Developer Studio Pro is an excellent noise reduction software. I'm dare to say it is better than Topaz or DxO. I'm sorry, it's not better, but it, at least they're same. Silkypix Developer has the exact same capability as the other those, and I have used both of them. And I compared with the Silkypix, they do a fantastic job. And how can you do the noise reduction in Silkypix Developer Studio? Let me show you. Generally, if you should draw, which you always should draw, if you're taking any high noise photograph, then Silky Peaks developer will do the job for you by default, and it does a brilliant job, especially if you're shooting with Fuji or Canon, because I find that Silky Peaks works well with Fuji files and uh, Canon files, or oh, Sony, obviously. I've tried all three and they all worked well. In these photographs, I have a Fuji RAW taken in 1000 ISO and long exposure. I turned the noise reduction off in camera. So this is how it is without touching noise reduction. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to zoom into the sky. Obviously this is where most of the time you will see your noise to about 100%. So you can see that it does have a little bit of uh, artifacts obviously but there are no noise because silky pigs did the job automatically added 39 color distortion which is the color noise and smoothness the luminance well to 39 as well what if i get rid of them see the original noises in the camera i'm going to go back you can tell this was the original noise of the raw file we're going to keep it on the side for the comparison and I'm going to pull back as you can see there's a mark so Silky Peaks thinks that it should be at 39 for noise reduction and smoothness the luminance reduction up to here 40 and that's the end result so as you can tell by comparing them side by side that Silky Peaks have done a brilliant job it is far perfect no you really have to work a little bit on it let's say there's a fringe fringing going on uh, then the, the, yeah a little bit of fringing you can get rid of them a little bit and then if you go have to go to the sharpness sharpness and then get rid of this artifact a little bit and if you go backward you do have a overall brilliant image and after that you can easily work on photoshop if you like to but by default silky peaks does an extraordinary job and as you can tell side by side comparison that is wonderful i love it and i wouldn't touch more than that i hope this video was helpful i'll see you in the next video bye bye